OK, there's no way for our program to actually know when this file is going to end, how many lines are in there. Uh, and also, since this is a separate file and it's out of the program's control, there's no way to know that there will be the right number of fields or any fields at all or anything in there. So we need to uh, help protect our program. Uh, we need to do two things. First, we need to stop it from crashing if it runs to the end of the file. And the second thing is we need to give it some kind of protection in case somebody puts something stupid in this file that it can't understand, not just a stupid joke. So this is how we're going to do it. Right, the first thing is we're going to do a loop and it's one you've never seen before. It's called the while loop. So while, uh, now we're going to do read jokes dot and it's end of file. Or end of data. Sorry, end of data. Okay, now notice it's put an end while in there for me. So what will happen is within this loop now, it will keep repeating around in the circular pattern until it gets to the end of the data. Oops, while well, not end of data, sorry. There we go. Uh, until it gets to the end of the data. So it'll repeat and while it's not the end of that file, end of that data. So that's the first part. Now, the second part we need to do is we need to uh, protect it from all sorts of other stupid things. So we're going to use a try catch. Uh, in Visual Basic, it's very easy to add our tries, T-R-Y, and we just press enter. And it will feed in all the other lines for us. So to recap, remember, what the try does is it will mean that the code, the program will try to run the code I place in these lines here. If it comes across any error whatsoever, it will then not run that code rather than erroring. It's to say, I gave it a try, it didn't work, and it will then run a suitable message that we can place in there instead. Uh, in the case of this, we're going to put a message saying, uh, I can't read that line, I'm going to skip it because it may just be one bad line out of many good ones. So we've done two things here. The first is we've started a while loop. So the while loop, by the way, it will always read its condition at the beginning. It won't run anything within here unless that condition is true. And the condition we've got is that it's not the end of the data. Right? It's not the end of the file. That's our first thing to protect it. And our second thing is we're putting in a simple try catch where it's going to try to run any other code and if it can't do it if it comes across any problems it won't run it instead it will run the code in our catch okay i'd like you to do the same away you go